Welcome to our guide on leveraging labels to enhance your mapped in maps. Labels are crucial for providing information directly on your map, making navigation intuitive for your users. Let's explore how you could display, customize, and manage labels efficiently. Before we dive in, let's take a look at our label interface. Properties of a label include add all, remove, remove all, which is self-explanatory. Um, what you can also do with labels is customize their appearance, such as adding an icon or changing colors, which I will demonstrate in this video. So let's go ahead and check our demo. Here we are starting with a plain map. Amazing. Now let's jump into our editor and let's get some labels onto the map. So first, why don't we do something easy like label all our locations. To do so, we are going to call map view labels all, which is map view dot labels and dot all. Cool. Let's go ahead and see that we have all labels. And there we are. All our labels are on our map. Um, next, let's try removing them all. So same thing again. We're going to call uh, map view dot labels dot remove all. And heading back to our demo, you can see that all our labels are gone, just as expected. Nice. How about adding individual labels? So I'll head and add an individual label for each space that we have on the map. So to do so, let's call on map data dot get by type, and our type is space. And we're going to iterate through each space and add a label for each. So we're going to call it for each, open that up, have space, and our function, what are we going to do with each space? So for if space.name exists, then we will map view dot labels dot add. And if we take a quick look at our reference, you'll see that labels.add take a target, text, and additional options. So, close that up. Um, so let's do map view dot labels dot add. And the first one is a target, so the target is gonna be space, and the text is going to be space dot name. Give that a save. And head back to our doc. Cool, look at that. All our labels have been added for each space that we have. Nice. All right. So now let's add another dimension to labels, which is changing its appearance. Back to the label reference, you can see that the additional options include appearance, interactivity, rankings, etc. Let's click into the T label appearance. And what this tells us is that we can customize our labels with margin, marker appearance, text styles, which is pretty cool. For this demonstration, let's just stick with changing these, the text colors and adding an icon. So heading back to our code, we are back at our labels.add. And now let's add a third parameter to it. So our third argument we we will be passing is appearance. So comma and then appearance, which is an object. And then up first, let's add our icon. So icon is under marker. So we're going to have a marker. Open the object for that. And the icon for our icon will be our mapped then SVG logo that I have just up here, but feel free to use any SVG, PNG, any image you'd like for your icon for your example. Cool, so we have our icon, and next let's change our text color. So we're gonna do text, we're gonna do foreground color is orange. Nice. So let's have a look at what we get. And would you look at that? All our labels are now orange and now we have a cute little mapped in logo right beside them. 
Be sure to check out the rest of the guide to explore more label options such as label rankings. You could head over to the Mapped in Developer portal to check out all the cool features on our SDK. Happy mapping!